So in this video, I'll be going over all of the week two challenges in chapter three, season two of Fortnite and how to complete them. And the first one is gonna to be to travel 300 meters in a tank. I've already got a video up about how to find all the tanks or all the different tank locations. I'll try to put that in the top right of the screen. Now, and basically when you find one of these tanks, simple as just driving around and doing that for a total of 300 meters. Nothing too difficult about this challenge, just make sure that you travel 300 meters in a tank to damage opponents with an exotic weapon. I've already got a video up with all the different exotic weapon locations, I'll try and put a card to that in the top right of the screen now, so if you just want to know where to get the exotic weapons, you can go there. But here I'll be showing you the cheapest location, or the location where you can buy the cheapest exotic weapon. Unfortunately, it's probably also going to be one of the worst ones, but if you don't have much gold and you just want to get the cheapest one possible, here is where you want to land. If you come to this NPC right here called the Origin, you can see you can buy this Nighthawk exotic for 400 gold. So that exact location is going to be right here. And then using this exotic weapon or any exotic weapon, you're just going to have to deal a total of 150 damage to opponents. Now it's also worth noting that you can get lucky with the malfunctioning vending machines. So just as an example, here is one of these malfunctioning vending machines that I'm talking about. They'll have this weird red exclamation mark and stuff going on with it. And you can spend 100 gold to receive a random item. And you can see there, I actually got really lucky first try and I got the dub shotgun from it. And you can get a random exotic weapon from those. Like I spent a few hundred gold on one of those the other day and I got the dub shotgun twice from it. So you can try your luck with one of those. But first off, actually finding one of them is difficult if you didn't already know. You just get those as a chance from the actual vending machines. They have a chance to be malfunctioning. But yeah, there's the two ways you can get it from NPCs or the vending machine. To visit Sanctuary, Tilted Towers, and Command Cabin. Now, obviously, this challenge is going to be pretty simple. They'll be just visiting three different locations on the map. The first one is going to be Sanctuary, where I'm at now. It's over here on the map. Then Tilted Towers is going to be right over here towards the center of the map. And then Command Cabin is up here on the map. So you just have to visit those three locations. And that's going to complete that challenge. One of the week two quests is to deal shotgun damage to opponents within five seconds of sprinting. So this is going to involve one of the new mechanics that was added in the later season of Fortnite. So make sure for sprinting that if you go to your settings, your key binds, you know what this button is. Sprint, so mine's going to be left shift. And then when you sprint, you'll be able to tell obviously because you will put your gun away and lock into this fast sprinting animation. And then what you could do within five seconds of finishing that animation, you have to deal shotgun damage to someone. So you need to use a shotgun for this challenge. And then you have to find someone. I don't see any place in the area. Unfortunately, the test is on. I'll use the NPC as an example. I won't actually shoot him though because he'll probably destroy me. But you're just going to have to sprint near a player. And then right after sprinting, you need to deal damage to them again with a shotgun specifically. So you'll sprint and stop sprinting. And then you'll shoot them. Again, within that five seconds of ending it, and again, make sure you're using a shotgun for that. To purchase a weapon of rare rarity or higher from a vending machine, so you can find vending machines at pretty much every single name location on the map. Specifically though, one of them is gonna be right here at the sanctuary, as you can see there. And then rare rarity or higher has to be either blue, purple, or gold. So you can see here, there's a blue ranger assault rifle. So if I were to buy this, it would get me progress towards the challenge. And then but I'm not going to buy it right now because I don't want one, but for the purpose of completing this challenge, that is what you would have to do. To destroy structures using remote explosives, first things first, you're obviously going to have to find yourself the remote explosives item. It comes in the stacks of three purple rarity, you'll just get it from floor loot and chests and stuff. And then you have to destroy structures using it. So one thing you can try and do is take down buildings because even though if you only blow up like three or four walls at the bottom, it should also count the rest of the structures at the top. So, as far as I'm aware at least, if you do something like this and take out the two walls on the clock tower. Okay, I've got no idea why that isn't falling down, it is literally flying right now. But you can see there, all those different structures that I took out will count for this challenge. And then I don't know if I've got to do that maybe. Okay, it's still flying. So maybe that's not going to be the strategy actually with this. But still you get the idea, you have to just take down structures and destroy structures using the explosions of the remote explosives. And last but not least, the final challenge for week 2 is simply going to be to collect a weapon while sliding. This one's pretty easy, just any, literally any weapon on the ground, and then you just slide, and then as you're sliding, you pick it up. It's going to be as simple as that. If you guys have any more questions about that, or any other challenge that I covered in this video, comment down below, I'll do my best to get back to you on that. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.